Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Wednesday, the 20th of December. I had to step out here for a moment before we leave. It's been crazy. I do mean nuts windy out here. And it is a freakishly warm 57.4 degrees out here. Man, I'm loving this. I love it when it's windy. But it's moved furniture around on the porch here. All kinds of crazy stuff. So here we are about an hour later. And it hasn't backed off. I mean, it is crazy out here. Look how far them trees over there are blowing over. Holy moly. That's pretty crazy. That's nuts, mama. And now it's starting to rain. We're under some crazy warnings this morning. That's pretty nuts. Danny, get away from the vehicle, dog. <laughs> crazy out. That is nuts. I know it. That's gonna be gonna be a wild ride to work. It looks like it's gonna be a headwind. I know you best hold on. Yep. Hold on. And four right. truckers. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, the weather outside. Got a little something something from one of you kind folks here. Got the little message in the mail. I think I got a notification that other stuff is showing up today. But we'll have to see if they put it in a box or I gotta come in the morning to get it. So. Anyway, whew. There's been some gusts that's just pretty crazy. I know it. That's pretty impressive, actually. Yeah, for her on here, we yeah. don't get high winds. All right, let's roll. All right. I don't think that's 25 miles an hour there, log truck man. I'm pretty sure not. One thing about these wind storms in the Pacific Northwest is you keep your eyeballs peeled on those trees. I'm telling you what. This is next level crazy out here. The wind, and it's just a headwind. <laughs> and the rain blowing sideways out there. Pretty crazy. Lord help us. A woman? It's not that was a horrifying ride to work. Yeah, it was not good. Wow. I mean, it rained so hard that wipers on full speed still couldn't see. I know. And then the wind pushing the trucks at you and everything else. Good thing you were driving. It came so yeah. couldn't see the road. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. But anyway, I'm going to run on down to the dungeon. Oh, right. I'll uh, see you later on. I'll right. see you at the Christmas potluck thing. There we go. All right. All right. See ya. Love you. Love you too. So next on my agenda is the F850 GS. That's kind of got that neutral look to it as well. I don't know why I really like that. But Kelly, uh, she goes, I'm not gonna be able to wait. She goes, this is an early Christmas present. She goes, if I gave it to you on Christmas and you knew I had it before Christmas, you're gonna freak out. It's kind of heavy. Let's check it out. My God, I'm freaking out. No freaking way. I must have watched way too many videos on this thing. Wow. God, she can figure out things. I'm the worst gift giver ever. That is so cool. Oh, man. Oh, we gotta get this thing out. Oh, man. Look how tiny that thing is. Holy, oh, watching what I'm doing, not the camera. Look at that. It is absolutely tiny. Here's just a small coffee cup to give you an idea. That's crazy. Wow, that thing's cool. Of course, you got the complimentary uh, firmware update right away. 
Sorry about the blue screen. I have the white balance locked in here and it doesn't agree with my... This is my um, old iPhone 5S. Perfect size for the uh, Osmo. And it fits with the case. And then the, the leather Apple case, as you see, fits tight against the Osmo. How is that? Cool is that? Good thing I packed this thing around. I think the battery is about dead on the phone, though. I can't even remember the last time I started this thing up. I just carry it as a spare phone in case something weird happened. I have another phone. <laughs> so this is what she looks like with the uh, phone connected. All the firmware is done. That's pretty cool, though. Look at how stabilized that thing is. And I have it in what they call fast follow mode. The white balance, again, it's going to be really weird because I have it custom set. Well, anyway, the next shot will be from the uh, DJI Osmo Pocket. Here we go. So I have it set on auto white balance, so it's probably going to look a little warm in here with these lights. But let's make our first Osmo Pocket video from, or uh, walking around at F850GS. Wow, this is cool. So how does this thing sound? I'm not sure where... Oh, there's the mic holes, and I think there's one underneath, too. Holy moly! Isn't that wild? Thanks for the early Christmas present there, Mama. You're welcome. You're so spoiled. <laughs> Good thing I love you. I know it. Now it's time for more Java. This thing is so small, it like freaks me out. The screen on it's about the size of a postage stamp. Check out my kid's new made in China bike. You guys won't say anything because he's getting his girlfriend one too. He bought two of them. It's a 140, is that right? Yeah. I'll show you guys the thing when he gets it out. Is that, oh, not even pointing the camera in the right spot. Sorry about that. It's pointing in the air. <laughs> A learning experience with this gimbal. But uh, anyway, I'll show you that when he gets it out. That's going to be cool. He showed me pictures of it yesterday. That's like wicked. Alright. <laughs> He's happy as a kid in the candy store. Goofball. Oh, wow. Gold forks? Yeah, say I need an RO belt for this. I'm assembling it now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's a big motor. What is that thing you're carrying around? The new DJI Osmo Pocket. <laughs> this is our annual little same. Christmas potluck thing that we do. Isn't that cool? All the peeps. So we had our little potluck Christmas thing there. We all ate too much. I know I did. I was done. And then somebody had a a plate with some apple pie there and said it's still hot one of the people that were trying it, oh no i gotta have me some hot apple pie that tipped me over the edge <laughs> i just gave her a rip she is fun as heck that thing is so cool kelly likes this thing too she goes oh boy we could really go ripping out in the woods with this really cool wow yeah that's way cool all right so this is a definitely past sunset ride <laughs> but I got her done and want to go ahead and take it upstairs to those guys so uh oh man this thing's tall holy moly so I figured uh throw a camera on take you guys for a quickie 
This is the uh, 2019 uh, F850 GS. This thing is sick looking. I just love how these things just the smallest throttle and they just, oof, they're gone. They just check out. The 750 and 850 are real similar to each other. What, but the one thing you notice is the 850 just has this very crisp, like, very well-tuned feeling to it. And it's much more aggressive. But in a, a smooth way, but just... It's like it drank a little more coffee than the 750. And she's just got some extra zip to her step. That's very, very pleasing. It's so good looking. I don't know if I have enough light anywhere to even do a quick walk around. I guess I could... I could be really brazen and just pull in the, under the lights of one of their uh, places here and do a quick walk around, couldn't I? You know what? I'm just going to be brave and do it. Well, let's just pull in right here and just do a quick walk around amongst all the yoders. You guys like that? Get yourself some some Toyota views in. Oh, BMW, don't be picky about neutral transmissions are so slippery in these things they just go up and down right past it but that's a beautiful kind of like that 750 yesterday that kind of a muted color to it fingerprints on it but it's kind of a green color oh it's gorgeous look at that thing is that just not messed up cool or what that thing is beautiful Look how it looks in this light out here. It's just gorgeous. Not that I ever get excited about motorcycles. But I definitely get excited about cool, cool stuff like this. And just like you can see the tack. Just how little you get on this thing and it just, you're out. You are just flat gone. <laughs> it's a bike you can be really fast without being even the least bit aggressive on it so what happens when it broke in and you can just flog dog this thing that's got to be incredibly fun listen to that sound of that sounds so good that diesel Let's take you for a fun loop today. We want to dry the tires off on this one. Oh, she mutes herself in here. No feet, no feet, no feet. Yeah, no feet. We're going to take the fun way around. Can I make it through that? All right, no feet. Oh, no feet. Okay. A little out of sorts there. <laughs> yeah, this thing is so cool. There's the 750 right there. I'm telling you. You know, some bikes, they're hard to get into neutral. I guess you could say this is hard, but in a different way. It just go, <laughs> keeps going above it and below it. Listen to that thing. That's sweet music. Sweet, sweet music. If that's not cool to you, you might want to go seek some professional help. The 750s are really cool too. Alright, I'm out. So here's my first. Whoa, trip fell down. My first night shots with the Osmo Pocket. Sure is beautiful out here. It's always beautiful when it's not pouring down rain. I'll take that any old time. Little woman. Let's head north to Alaska. Yes, please. Ooh. All right.
roll on it. Let's roll. At least. At least. It is not pouring down rain at the moment. It's nice and peaceful. It dumped quite a bit coming home, but it wasn't that bad. I survived. That's the old petrol station again. The never-ending petrol station. <laughs> Hopefully it'll not rain all the way to the rest of the way home. I would like that. Well, hello there, YouTube. How's everybody's day? It's crazy. It's quiet out here. Yeah. <laughs> no wind sound. No rain pounding on the roof. It's just quiet. Just silence yeah. at the moment. Even the dogs aren't overly freaking out. Yeah. Which seems odd, too. Easy, but Leo's howling. The girls are going off. Everybody's going off. Yeah. It's like this crazy, frenzy announcement that we're home. I know. It's weird. Crazy. Big old babies. Yeah. So, we got something from the post office today. I got a, a delivery notice that something else showed up um, today. And uh, I'm assuming it's at the post. It just says available for pickup. Yeah. Don't know what that means. So, we'll try to swing in there in the morning and grab whatever that is. And uh, thank you guys in advance. I didn't see who. I was in a rush. Didn't see who that was from. I had to sign for it. So, I'm pretty sure it probably came from the UK. Because it's always got to do. It's a weird way I got to sign for it. But uh, anyway, um, I think we're going to cut it quick tonight because I think I filmed a lot of stuff and I don't want to be fighting for time. I don't want this thing to be a yeah. 40 minute vlog or something, you know. <laughs> really? Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up and you guys have a wonderful Friday or Saturday. And Kelly told me <laughs> that it's supposed to be much drier tomorrow. Yeah. There's a certain three-wheel motorcycle that I think needs to go for a test ride. Definitely. Didn't get the tool. We overnighted the tool for the for the lug nut. Yeah. And uh, it didn't show up today, so it should be here tomorrow. It was available in BC, so yeah. it should have showed up today. Uh, maybe the parts manager got it, ordered it after the cutoff time or something. Who knows? Or it's probably caught in you know, all the Christmas. Oh yeah. Freight stuff that's going on. So anyway. Keep your fingers crossed. If not, we've got another idea that we can get them torqued down. So, All right. Using train tools. I'll tell you more about that tomorrow if we use it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Talk to you guys tomorrow. You guys take care. Bye-bye now. Bye.